My name is Alexandra, I'm a Romanian and I'm a young researcher in archaeology and geosciences. I'm interested in the relationship between man and nature since 6,000 years in the Danube Delta, Romania. A delta is formed by an accumulation of sediment, like sand, at the mouth of a river where it enters into the sea. Uh, many factors such as climatic conditions, uh, the strength of the current, the quantity of the sediment that is uh, transported by the river, influence the size and the shape of a delta over time. 6,000 years ago, humans started to practice agriculture and also started to settle into the deltas because this area represents sources of water and food and also ways of communication. By destroying the forest for cultivate land, people laid bare the soil, which led to an increased quantity of sediment, thus changing the morphology of the delta. In the same time, the natural dynamic of a delta forced ancient societies to have better adaptation strategies, as for example in the case of port facilities that were always moved in order to gain access to the sea. The Danube Delta is particularly <laughs> The Danube Delta is particularly interesting for me uh, because it's the second biggest delta of the European continent and also is the best preserved one. It is witness of long human occupation, as you can see from many archaeological sites that are there. For my research project, I work on seven sites that cover a time span from prehistory up to Middle Ages. For understanding the evolution of the Danube Delta and its human occupation, I use an interdisciplinary research method which was implemented in the Rhone Delta. This method complements the information gathered from archaeological sites with sediment analysis. In the field, I drill several meters deep in order to collect samples from different periods of the delta. Then, I analyze them in the lab, mainly by measuring the size of the grains of the sediments and by extracting the ostracods, which are some microcrustaceans very sensitive to physical chemical parameters of the water. Depending on their number and on the type of the ostracod that I find in the samples, I can uh, determine if there was a lake or a lagoon or a river of the sea. I also try to determine the age of my samples by using radiocarbon dating and typochronology, uh, which is basically a method that consists in dating the ceramic shards based on their uh, shape and on their decoration. The fer is noir, with the figures rouge, the quatrième siècle avant Jésus Christ. Finally, I uh, add all together the archaeological, uh, historical, and biosedimentological data. I put them on the map and I put them on the maps in order to recreate the history of the Danube Delta. My research aims to show how the nature and the man have always been intrinsically linked and how reflection on human activities can lead to a better preservation of these fragile areas that are the deltas in face of the climate change. I hope that understanding the past will help us to give better answers for tomorrow's questions. Donc, on a des choses sérieuses maintenant <rire>